Hey guys, Coach Sam here, I'm John Anne Marie, and we'll be filming, uh, filming today the final workout of drop sets. Okay, so this is the final full body workout. So yesterday's workout was uh, more upper body dominant. Uh, so Mondays and Thursdays are more upper body. We start with the A series targeting more chest and back or shoulders. Uh, and today now we're going to reverse that so we've got more um, lower body. In this phase, we're squatting twice a week as the A series. So this is a, this is a really good phase for really improving um, the squat for when we're back in, um, in the gym. Okay, so we've got drop sets again, just like we had on Tuesday. We're going to use the stability ball hack squat uh, for drop sets, but this time it's even worse. Okay, we've got a one second pause at the bottom on every single rep. So that's just going to dissipate a little bit of elastic energy. So your quads are going to work, work even harder to get out of the hole. Okay, so um, yeah, you've got six exposures to the, the stability ball hack squat um, in this three week phase. So Amory's had a warm up, she's ready to rock and roll. Um, so let's get going. Okay, so the hack squat's gonna, the ball's gonna go on the mid part of the back. We've got four sets today, so we're gonna start off quite nicely. We've got four sets, no need to, to go mental on set one. Okay, you can find out um, exactly where you are in regards to um, what weights are challenging. So we're gonna go with the purple and a red band uh, simultaneously. Uh, we'll take the red band off after 10, we'll take the purple band off after eight, and then we'll go for body weight for six. So I'm going to stand on it, make sure your feet are nice and wide. Yeah, so you're gonna turn your toes out about five degrees. The band's gonna go around her head. Okay, we're gonna make sure she's nice and comfortable. So she's not standing up straight, she's leaning in, into the ball. She's putting her force into the ball. If the ball wasn't there, she'd probably fall over. All right, we're gonna go down slowly for three seconds. Three, two, one, we're gonna pause, and then up for one. Good, we've got 10 of those, okay? So down, nice three seconds down. That's it, pause and up. So we did a four, zero, X, zero on, um, on Tuesday for the, work, the second time, uh, the second workout of the week. Today, we're gonna go three down and we're adding a pause. So it's still four seconds, but we want to have that one second pause at the bottom. That pause is gonna make sure we hit the glutes a little bit harder, especially with a slightly wider stance as well. Good, so it's 10 reps. Good, make sure you exhale as you push up. So breathe in, pull, pause, and then exhale as you push. Good, we're going for 10. That's it, come in. That's 10, yeah, we think that's 10. All right, so let's go, uh, keep it back, comes off, good. So we lose the red band, guys, so we're making it a bit easier. Now we're gonna go for eight reps on the same tempo. Good. Nice. So I'm already said before we started filming that it's harder when you're taller. Yeah, so the bands obviously stretch and the taller you are, because they're hooked around your legs uh, or your feet and your neck, they're gonna stretch further. So you might find you need to go with a a slightly heavier band if you're on the shorter side, or maybe a slightly lighter band if you're on the taller side. Good, so you're gonna do the eight. Here we go, hook it off. Last set is just six, it's just body weight. So down we go, a little pause, and then drive up, good. So this is a modified hack squat, guys. Those of you who use the hack squat in the gym, you wanna try and have the body at a similar angle. Good, go for six. And then we're gonna take a nice long rest. Good, perfect. Time to burn? Yeah. Yep, starting <laughs> to burn now, hold on. Okay, six reps, so up to three minutes rest, guys, yeah. Take your time with it. Now we'll sit down, you can, you, can, you can chill out. What I would want to do, if you, if you feel a little bit tight in the quads, maybe you're struggling to get full depth, is just pull your quads off a little bit. All right, get some blood into the, um, into the muscles. Yeah, those muscles are a bit warmer now, so you should find you can get a bit more of a, a stretch on them. Okay, so just pull your quad off, try and get your heel um, into your bum for around 20 or 30 seconds on each side, and then do both sides. You might find that one side is a little bit tighter um, than the other. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is you're gonna just drop down onto your knees now, just to do a little stretch. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna drive your hip forward, yeah. That's it, then put the opposite arm or the back arm. That's it, the other one, that's it. Reach the other arm, that's it. Reach as high as you can to the sky. Just open up that lateral quad into the hip flexor. Yeah, reach up and then arch your body slightly across. Just that way, okay, if we can. Here we go, so you arch it across, just to get into these muscles here, all right? We've got a three minute rest in between sets, so we may as well utilize it with a little bit of stretching. Okay, just from there then, when you're there, just come back into your knees. Just turn, oh, bloody hell, hell of, hell of a click from Anne Marie, eh? All right, all right. Have your legs snapped in half or something? All right, 10 to 12, get into the hamstrings. Good. What was that, how's he in here? Yeah, he always clicked. Elevator, yeah. yeah. Okay, 
10 to 12, and set it into the other side. So try through. Good. That's it. Well done. So get into the hips, lateral quad, deep hip flexors, into the lower abs a little bit as well. Good. And arches it across. Good. And then you're just going to be nice and easy, just 10 to 12, like this. Okay, just into the hamstrings. Yeah, so nice little bit of mobility in between. You can do this a little bit of mobility today in between every set. She's clicking like busy. Yeah. Yes. Two stretches off. No. That's it. There we go. Right, perfect. So do 10 to 12. I'm going to go back in for that set. Do you want to go a bit harder this time? Yeah. Okay. So I'm really found that it was challenging, but it wasn't um, crazy, crazy hard. So we'll make it a little bit harder. We'll go green and purple. Okay, so remember, guys, with the weights. This, the red the red band is um, is three kilos. The purple band is six. The green is nine, and the blue is twelve. So when you're tracking your weights, which you must do, guys, you need to track your weights to make sure that when you come back to these exercises, um, you know how to, how to you know how how to progress them. Okay, we'll go for your set of ten. It's even more important, guys, when you've got two squat workouts a week because these squats are different. The four zero x zero. It's probably a little bit easier than the three seconds down with the one second pause. And in future phases, we're going to be doing these with a two, three, and four second pause, and also with a quarter rep at the bottom. So we have loads of progressions with the tempo, plus we can also change the foot stance if we want to. Good, so that's amazing. Good, the green band's way, way harder, a lot tighter. Good, so go for your 10. Good, brilliant. Awesome, so take the pit one off. That's it, good. And release flying with them, good. So eight reps now, guys. That's it, a little bit easier without the purple band. Two, good. Three. Four, good. Five. Six, last two. Seven, one more. Eight, perfect. So lose the band again. Okay, well done. And then into the last set of six. So guys, on the app, don't worry. All you do is put the weight in for the first set of 10. Okay, we, we haven't got scope. This, this is the issue with drop sets, is I know you could make the eight harder by having you know, different bands or whatever. And I'm really gonna keep the purple on for the last set of six now. But all we want to track is the first set of 10. Um, and, and that's cool. So Amory had a six and a nine, so she put 15 kilos in on the app for the first set, new set two. Okay guys, so that's great. Two sets done. Let's just go back into some different uh, mobility. All we'll do this time, we'll just drop the leg out to the side. Yeah, and all we're gonna do, we're gonna try and walk those elbows down, just into a nice deep stretch. If we can, if it's too much, just go on your hands. Yeah, feel the adductors working. And just breathe into that space. Good. So some people, just hold that set on the other side. Yep, yeah, if you want to go to the other side. So some people struggle with wide stance squats just because they're the type. Try and drive the heel to the floor, good. And so you can push your bum back into the space. Open up those adductors. Uh -huh. Tight? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So we don't really like to mess with deadlifts and squats, just do them on their own. All right, we don't need to put too, too much in between. This time we're going to squat, hand here, we reach up to the sky. Good, on the other side, do a couple of each side. Oh, wow, that's clicking off. I'm clicking now. Good, one more each side. Good, and just jump myself a little squiggle. So guys, if you're feeling a bit tight, feel free to press pause while you do a bit more mobility. Okay, but we're gonna um, crack on with our third set. Huh? Do you know what we have here? That was okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay, we'll go. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna keep it the same. We're gonna go behind the last one. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So you've got four sets, guys. It's important you hit all the reps. We don't want to hit fatigue too soon. You remember when I did this workout myself, I went too hard on the first two sets, and then by the third set, I had to lower the, the weight. And I think it's better to finish off on the fourth set with a harder set rather than start too heavy and have to go lighter. Okay, so same tempo, three down. One second pause, and up. 
Good, perfect. And with your feet, guys, spread the floor. Try and corkscrew the floor away to really get those glutes engaged, okay? Imagine you've got a booty band around your knees, yeah, and you're trying to push those knees out as well. All right, you'll get a bit more glutes with that. Good. Now, if you've got access to a barbell at home, then feel free to do the same thing with the barbell. How that would work is you put the bar on your back with a certain amount of weight, you do your 10, you take a little bit of weight off, you do your eight, you take a little bit of weight off, you do your six. Uh, how much weight do you take off? Probably about 10%. So yeah, if you add 50 kilos, take five kilos off, and then take another five kilos off. Okay, perfect. So Amory's done a 10, she's into an eight now. Good. That's it, keep breathing, make sure you get the oxygen in. Oxygen is energy, so it's important you breathe. It's amazing how many people actually forget to breathe when they're training. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> Good, well Go, 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 go. Nice, so that was brilliant. It's the last set of six, guys, yeah, the easiest one of them all. So your technique should be perfect. Good, so I'm actually right in the next phase after drop sets uh, this week. So uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. I put in some isometrics with the ball, I think, so. Band around your neck. That's it. Okay, perfect, good. Have a little rest, shake them off. Okay, take it, have, a little, have a little drink, guys, yeah. Take our two to three minutes rest. Now, the last bit of what we do is just nice and simple, just lower back, okay, so we're just going to arch ourselves up, nice and simple, and you're going to sit back with the more child's pose, and then just drive through a few times, a bit like we did yesterday with the beast to split squat, but the beast now is actually a child's pose, right back, get into the lats, that's it, and what you can do is when you go into your child's pose is, I'm just going to walk our hands over, walk over this side, that's the other one. That's it, drop your head in. Should feel a stretch here? Yeah. That's it. And the other side, yeah. Spend a bit of time where you're, where you're tight. Good. And the last one we'll do, because we do have uh, reverse Nordics later on, I'm just going to pull our knees nice and simple. I'm just going to lean back into that pose there. Okay, just get a bit of a stretch on the, on the quads. That's it. Have your toes on the floor, guys, so you get a nice stretch on your, on your feet as well. That's it, and then from there, we're going to flatten the foot, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing, just sit back, healthy knees, yeah, and just a little bit of, yeah, that's it. A bit of a stretch on those quads, and we're just going to drive the hips up a little bit as well from there. Knee back, just a nice stretch on the quads, yeah? Tight, yeah. And there we go. So that's going to set us up nicely for our CCVs today. If you don't know what I mean, you'll see. All right, okay, last set. Let's see what Anne Marie's got, is it? Let's test her, uh, her strength and willpower. Okay, right, let's go. What we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna just see what she's made of, all right? All right, we're gonna go blue, green, and purple, all right? We'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it, all right? If anyone can do it, you can do it, okay? So, guys, the last set, like, if I was coaching Anne Marie now in, in the gym, like, if she, if she does 10, 8, 6, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, okay? I want to try and see if we can get it to 10 and then maybe a quads can't quite make the 8 and then the 6 is just, is just maybe too much for it. Okay, you've got to remember, there's nothing wrong with failing. Yeah, success, to get the success, you have to go through failure and that means pushing your boundaries, okay? Nothing, ever, nothing great ever came from a comfort zone. Okay, so, good. This is going to be ridiculous, all right? Okay, so let's see if you can get, you know, three. If I can bend you a little bit. That's it, Bert, three, two, one. Huh? Yes, she's there. Yeah. Good, okay, bit of effort to get in. All right, okay, come on, strong. So the tension drops off and then power up. One, good. Okay, then let Amory take out the pause. I guess come straight back up. Two, good. She's got it, she's doing great. Three, good. Four, amazing guys, yeah, this is awesome. Five, right down, and up. Six, good. 
seven. So you got three more to do, guys. Water machine. Three. Last two. Good. Last one. Perfect. Good. Okay, there we go. Amazing. Here we take the purple one off. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so it should be a little bit easier, but this is going to be hard still because the blue and the green are the toughest ones. Okay, we've got our eight now. Good. Guys, Anne-Marie is, is a cardio queen and she's using the blue, the green and the purple. So if any guys watching that and you're using a flimsy purple and red at this point, yeah, don't let me find out because I will hunt you down and kill you. Go, go, go. Eight reps. Nice, good. Well done. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to take the, purple, the green one off now. So, guys, here's the blue for all three reps, yeah? Good, lean into it now. That's it. It's feel easy. Six, five, good. Four, shout out breath, guys, yeah? Doing weights. Three, last two. One more, right down. Good, amazing. So, I'm already did it, guys. Ten, eight, six for the blue, the green, and the purple. I think she's going to die now. Well done. Good job. Oh, you missed. That would be high. Yeah. Good. Okay. Straight to Good. So Amory forgot to put my zone belt on, so she's putting it on now. So if you, yeah, guys, don't forget to put your my zone belt on. If you forgot to put your my zone belt on and you haven't um, and you've done drop sets, you missed out on quite a lot of um, of men. Okay. So yep. Perfect. So guys, we're moving to our B series now. Nice and simple. Um, we've got incline press ups. So with the incline press ups, what we can do is we know incline um, are easier than flat. We can put the bands around us like this. We're going to lean on the bench just there, and we're going to do our press up on an incline. Okay. So with incline press ups, the higher the incline, the easier it is. Okay. So if, if you find the incline press ups too easy, then you can always do them on the on the flat. Or what I'd rather do is stay on the incline and use a tougher resistance because we do want to target a bit more upper chest. With this, um, with this exercise. So again, I'm going to start off on the um, red, yeah? Let's we'll start with the red. Okay, I think she, she finds this a bit easy, but we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. I'm going to uh, superset it with bent over rows. So I'm going to do it against the, um, let me just pull this in a little bit here. That's on this side of it, yeah, so you can see them. Okay, here we go, she so got 10 reps. Yeah, three seconds on the way down. Okay, three, two, one, and push up, good, one. Three, two, one push up two, three, two, one push up three. So you see the band guys went over Amory's scapula. Yeah, it's not around her neck. Good. Oh, you see Amory's heart rate, guys. If you can, I can see it here. Yeah, she's on seventy-three percent. So she's working at a really good level. Good. Go for ten. Nice. Hold on. Okay, good. So Amory's working well with the. Yeah, this is the last one. Yeah. And 10. Perfect. So we're going to take 60 second rest now. And girls, take it because, um, like, Amory, like, on the, on the squats, you girls are really, really good at, like, legs. You can, you can, you seem to be able to recover really quick. But upper body it tends to be a little bit different, and men are the opposite. So men need a bit more rest of lower body, whereas you tend to be able to do upper body with a little bit less rest and still perform high. So, yeah, take your 60 seconds. Next exercise, we'll probably go with a slightly harder band because rope pulls are a bit easier than pushes. Okay, you're going to bend over into that bent over row position. We're going to drive up, squeeze the lats, and then release. Drive the elbows back towards the hips, and then release. Okay, we're going to go for a set of, uh, of 10. That should be okay for you. Oh, okay. Legs are gone, eh? <laughs> She's like, ah, guys, the legs are like. <laughs> yeah? You're shaking. Shaking. Good, so that's it. Huh? Yeah, perfect. So just keep your back nice and straight. Here we go. And sit, and then row in. One. Perfect. Drive the elbows towards the hips. Good, and that's a good teaching point, guys. Based on where the elbow drives will be the how we work the back. If we drive drive the elbows out wide, it's going to be more rear delts. If we drive the elbows back more towards the bum and the hips, it's going to be more lats. So that's it. In for one. We're going to hold and then release for three. Good. No drop sets, guys. In this, we should have done your um, drop sets on press ups um, yesterday. Okay, so. We got press up drop sets twice a week and we got squat drop sets twice a week. Perfect. That's it. One set done. Take the 60 seconds and then we're going to go back to press ups. Do you want to lose the band? Yeah. I'm struggling. I can't do press ups. Okay, it's fine. So I'm really struggling a little bit with the, with the press ups. So that's fine. Okay, so th this phase is going to be great for Anne Marie, especially with the drop sets on press ups to really get some volume and hypertrophy into those pecs 
um, and triceps. So she's just gonna do her presses now without the band. Absolutely fine, guys. Okay, the most important thing is to stay on that tempo. Good. Good, you've got four to go. Eight to 10 is the rep range. We always give you a, a rep range rather than a specific number. Okay, so you get eight, nine, or 10. That's perfect. If you can't hit eight reps, then we probably need to find a way to make the press it easier. And that's when we can start looking at maybe a higher incline or doing band assisted um, press ups. Good. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna do a bit of a rose now. And what I'll do guys on the third set, I'll show you how to do band assisted press ups. We give Amory a, a set off the press ups, an easier version. So do these, just for those of you that are struggling. The way to get better at press ups, guys, probably isn't doing them on your knees. It's looking at doing full press ups and just, you know, working with low rep ranges, two, three, four, five reps, adding reps as you get better and stronger, and looking at things like isometrics or even going down on your toes and then pushing up on your knees. But getting your body used to using your whole body weight is the only way you're going to get better at press ups. Good, that's it, 10 reps. Cool, so I've got the rest now, we're gonna take a 60 seconds. Uh, we're gonna go into press for the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna be thinking, I can't do press ups, how am I gonna do on the floor? We're gonna tie the band, guys. Yeah, if you've got a door or anything like that. Okay, all we're gonna do, we're gonna put your hands through and we're gonna go into press ups here. Okay, so what's gonna happen is as Amber goes down, yeah, the band's gonna help her up slightly, okay? So it's giving her a little bit of assistance out of the hole, all right? Okay, so just put it under your, under your bra strap. Okay, so obviously if you need a bit more help, you can use a thicker band and you can still go off the incline if you need to. Let's see how, how Amory does here. You can always bring the- Down, um, yeah. Yeah, so you can find your full press for now. Gives you a little bit of help. Make sure this goes over your chest a bit more. Sit down. There you go, all right? Yeah. That's it, one. So if she needs a bit more help, I can just tighten the band a bit more. Three, good. Four. Five, good. Six. Seven. Eight, almost done. Nine, one more. Ten, good. So I mean, can, she can do four press ups, yeah. Just needs maybe a little bit of. Um, Slight bit of assistance, and that band isn't giving her loads of help, it's just enough so she can execute the press ups properly. Better? Yeah. yeah. Easier than those up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, here we go. So, even though a full press is harder than an incline press up, using the band as a band assisted rather than a band resisted is just right for uh, Anne Marie. Right, okay, so set three. Good, that's it. 10 reps. Good. So I'm going to in a really good zone. Now uh, we can see on her, and in my zone belt, which is here, yeah, she's mainly working aerobically with a few uh, yellow peaks. And she's dropping the blue in her rest periods. Nice. Really good. Got one more set of press ups and one more set of rows to do after this. Take your time. You right, take your time. Don't rush it. Yeah, good work. So our next, uh, we've got one more set to go guys in our C series then. We've got knee pull-ins on the stability ball, which we've, um, we've done before, okay? And we have um, reverse Nordics, which we've done in the gym for those of you that be a member of SOS and done them in our small group um, PT sessions. Yeah, those arms fit in. Are you right? Have a bit longer rest. Okay. Which one? Yeah. Uh, are you happy with that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah stay with these, yeah. So, so guys, even though the bands are thicker, normally we resemble a thicker band with being harder. Obviously, with the assistance, if, if I'm going to hang, to hang a purple band from here, because the band is stretching and it's pulling you up, okay, obviously the thicker band on an assisted push-up is um, easier, okay? So resisted, obviously harder with a thicker resistance, assisted, easier. Okay, here we go. That's it, 10 reps. You can tie this guys to the door frame, anything really. That's it, go for 10 reps. Nice. Well done.
Well done. Brilliant. Okay, last set of uh, bin number rows now. Good, so I'll leave Anne-Marie crack on with the rows. So guys, these workouts, they're gonna make you not just tired, they're gonna make you better, okay? We had two members in the last lockdown, um, similar body shape, similar body size. One of them didn't bother doing these workouts, she just did a lot of running, she did a lot of metabolic work, okay? She, she trained most days, but it was like sort of star jumps in your kitchen, just burpees for days and, and all that kind of thing, running up the mountain and that stuff, which was great. She came back really aerobically fit, the resting heart rate um, dropped, and she actually lost a lot of weight, which was, which was fine, you know? She seemed happy, but when we put her on the in-body and actually looked at what was going on more closely, you could see that she lost around six to seven pounds of lean muscle mass. And what happened as a result of that was her basal metabolic rate or her resting metabolism had dropped by around 80 calories, which, you know, when your basal metabolic rate is only 1,300 calories and it drops by 80, that's like a 6 to 7% drop in resting metabolism, which isn't really what you want, because that's going to make looking good naked and having a good body composition harder for you long term. So, you know, put that against someone that's doing these workouts and they potentially going to lay down muscle tissue, they're going to have a positive increase in their basal metabolic rate. So these sessions, you know, you will get sweaty, they are hard, you will probably get a bit of muscle soreness, but they're designed to make you better and not just um, tired. Okay, so we're going to do our knee pull in. I think you've done these before here. Um, yeah, okay, so what we're going to do, um, we did the knee pull in on Tuesday. What we're going to do, I'm going to do um, a leg raise. Okay, guys, so how it's going to work? Yeah, is you're gonna squeeze the ball as hard as you can, okay? We don't want the feet or the ball hitting the floor, okay? I'm gonna keep looking at you, but when you do it, your head's gonna be down, okay? But I'm gonna explain, uh, look at the camera. Hands nice and wide, with a nice wide base. If you have lower back pain, just slide your hands underneath the base of your spine. Squeeze the ball tight. I want you to try and imagine you're gonna try and punch it, okay? I'm gonna raise the ball up, yeah? And then slowly down for three seconds. Don't let the ball touch the floor. Okay, we're gonna go for a set of 12. Okay, I'm actually shaking doing this. Once you've done your 12, don't put the ball down. You're gonna squeeze the ball as hard as you can for 20 seconds to really work these adductors, which could be like a problem area for some women. Okay, so, all right. Let's see how, how much you can get Henri shaking. Uh, no, I just said I agree, I think we're down on it. Okay, so what we're doing. What we did, we, we, we did, um, it should have been equal last time. Right. Okay. So, so squeeze it tight. So okay, so Amory's going to have a nice squeeze on the ball. Okay, perfect. Okay, so and when she raises the ball off the floor, the ball is not going to touch the floor again. So just to there, three, two, one, hold, and then back up. So it's really controlled, guys, okay? Slowly down, lower, 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 just to there, and back up. Good. Slow and controlled. Down we go a bit lower. Good. That's it. Nice and slow. Three, two, one. Good. So none of this leg raise, fast core circuit bollocks. All right. We're training the core properly. Slowly down. Legs are straight. Knees are straight. Good. Up. Brace the abs. Good. She's doing amazing, guys. Yes. She's making it look easy and it's tough. Slowly down. Good. Got three more. Three. Good. Two more. Right up, good, brace hands. Okay, last one she's gonna do, up, 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 good. Okay, slowly down, keep the legs off the floor, now squeeze the ball hard, 20, 90, harder, 18, 70, 16, squeeze 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, squeeze 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, one set. Oh my God. <laughs> they're hard, they're way harder than they look guys. People do leg raises, they just swing their legs up and down. They're using the hip flexors. Okay, by squeezing the ball, it takes the hip flexors up and it's really controlled. That really needs a rest, I can tell. My legs are shaking. <laughs> your leg, yeah. And squeezing the ball as well. If your quads are tired, you're gonna get that fatigue. It's like sometimes in yoga, we do the, the leg pose like this and you've got to hold your leg there. And my leg just feels like it's gonna cramp. So it's a similar feeling um, with those. Okay, so reverse Nordics. I'll demonstrate while Amory has a rest. I'll get us a back there. So what we're going to do guys, I'll show you without the band. Yeah, all we're going to do, we're going to push your hips forward 100%, yeah. And you're going to lean back, yeah. And you're going to contract your quads, keep your hips through, just short of parallel. So not coming all the way up. Okay, so keep the tension on the quads. You're going to go down, yeah, and then squeeze the quads. Okay, don't let your bum do this. So your hips stay through, they're fully committed all the way. You go back, contract the quads, just short of all the way up. 
okay? If you want to work hard, you can put your feet flat. If you want a bit more stability, have your toes down. Now you can use the band. Yeah, and you can do it leaning back this way. Okay, all right? Happy that? Good, so that's the, uh, the way we're gonna do it. What I'll do, I'll see if I can put this band, I'll tie it around me, just so we can do it sideways, okay? All right? Okay, so there we go. That makes so, how many get to face me? Face it. Yeah, so just, so the guys, this just, this just acts as a little bit of support, okay? So, just hold on, don't let it go on. All right. <laughs> All right. The hips forward. Hips forward. The hips, that's it. Just, so start with your hips as far forward as you can. That's it, and you get a few them like that. Now you're gonna slowly go back, so your arms are straight for a bit of support with the band. Yeah, and as you go back, now squeeze the quads. Up, just there, back down. Good. Uh, 12, down we go, right down, 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 low as you can, now hips forward, don't come all the way up, one, two, good, down we go again, down, 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 squeeze the quads, there, three, good, that's it, quads, four, good, guys, these are intense, yeah, right back as far as you can, keep the hips up, five, good, I did these yesterday, six, Come on, hold on. Up, seven, good. Eight, okay, four more. Okay, lose the panel, let me down. Let me go down again, three more, and we go. Good, up, three, last two, now slowly. Contract the quads, up, two, one more. Hip forward, hip forward, hip forward. Contract, done, good, well done. Okay guys, so they're hard. They're gonna train your quads in the in the lengthened position, which we don't often train them in. Okay, you can also get on a leg extension if you lie back, but they're gonna really hit the um, the mid quad muscle. Perfect, okay, so back to our good job for having only three sets of these, okay? Okay, right there? Yeah, I think you should do one of them. Do these, yeah. I can abs steel. They call me the ab doctor. <laughs> right, okay, so they're hard guys. If you want to make it a bit easier, you can put the ball down after every rep. We're just keeping it a few inches off the floor, obviously keeps that core uh, really engaged. And remember, slow wins the race. If you want to work harder, try them on a three, zero, three, zero. Three up and three down. But Tramon is just going to go one up and three down for today. So up we go, that's it. And then down we go, three, two, one, that's it, perfect. So guys, anything that brings the knees or the legs closer to the midsection is working lower abs. So this is targeting the lower abdominals. Good, we're gonna hit that 12. Good, perfect. Doing good. So guys, this exercise is teaching you to build a really strong midsection. Uh, it might not get your heart rate as high as, you know, burpees or star jumps and that sort of thing, but it's gonna teach you how to brace your core, which is gonna really protect your spine when it comes to doing all your major lifts. Kettlebell swings, chin-ups, deadlifts, uh, heavy squats, yeah, strong midsection is going to keep you tight and uh, upright. Good, really good. Okay, nearly there. 12. Okay, so squeeze that, squeeze the ball. Good, three, two, one, squeeze it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, harder, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1. Rest. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, perfect. Two sets of the ball then, guys. So we're going to go into reverse Nordics now. These exercises are not um, contradicting, they're all working the same muscles, so you can go straight in. That's it. So see how you go on with these. Like, try and keep the tension on the quads. If you have to come all the way up for a little breather, um, then you can. Okay, so that's it. So keep the hips through all the way. That's it. Perfect. Let's hitch up to that. One. Good. There we go. Up. Two. Good. Really good. Keep those hips committed. Three, so that there's a straight line, guys, between your hip, your knees, and your shoulders. We're in a perfectly straight line. Nice, good. Awesome. Keep the glutes tense as well, everything's tight. And we're showing off with these, she's rocking it. Good. The hard they look, but you're making them look easy. Good, well done. Nice. Well done, last few. 
Good. Good, 12 reps. Okay, that means heart rate's nearly in the, in the yellow zone, just doing a really isolated exercise for the quads. So um, that's great. She's bracing really, really hard. So what we'll try and do on the last set for her is rather than having her toes like this, okay, we'll try and see if we can man uh, man uh, manage the toes flat. The benefit of this as well is you're gonna really stretch the, um, the tissue at the front of the, 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 um, the leg, yeah, that tibialis anterior muscle, which is the opposite muscle of the, the calves. And if people suffer from things like shin splints, it's often because this is tight. A lot of runners, they can't even do this and they wonder why they're getting knee pain. Okay, so this is a great stretch as well. So we're gonna get an active stretch whenever we get back into the end position, okay? So we got our last set. Ready for it? If you're struggling with the ball, guys, you can lose the ball, okay? But, you know, ideally we wanna get the adductors working. So keep it in if you can. Yeah, so you squeeze the ball in. Three, two, one, last set. I think I'm gonna do it at your own time. Aiming for 12. I can remember back in the day, like when I was in PT, like they used to do like 30 minute uh, core classes. And I, I can remember I went in once and I had, to, I had to cover one and I made everyone do these and, and gar hammer raises. We only did two exercises and I made them do them properly. And literally people were lying on the floor with cramp in their abs. And they were, they, they were used to doing 30, 40, 50 different ab exercises non-stop for 30 minutes. So it goes to show that you don't need to do a load of exercises for your abs. One or two really good quality exercises in a program through the week is all you need. I tend to only do one ab exercise um, in, each of my four, in, in one workout for, uh, in, in my week. So just one ab, one ab exercise per week, three sets is all I tend to do. I squeeze the ball out, three, two, one, go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, squeeze it, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. You're up. You don't need that ball anymore. That's all done. Perfect. Good. So Amy's going to try now and see how she gets on with the reverse Nordics. Then he's before. No. It's your first time doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so Amory's first time, time doing this. And so guys, the A series is the squats. We're recruiting those big muscle fibers. And now these are like just fatiguing all those small muscle fibers that are left in your quads that are not tired basically. So that's it. So that's it, same thing now. You're gonna get a little bit deeper because of your foot position. That's it. One. Good. All right. <laughs> is it are you tight in your shins? It's like calves are coming. It's like calves are coming, okay. Should I do it again? Yeah, see so you go. See so you do it. One. Two. Good. It's too hard to start. Okay, so Amelie's gonna struggle with those just because she's tight. Okay, it's not that she's not strong enough, just that her calves are tight and the relationship between her tibialis anterior and soleus or gastro is a bit of restriction down there, so she'll stick with these. Remember, guys, you can use the bands if you need to. Yeah, good. Well done. So, I've seen people on courses do this where their head actually touches the floor and they come back up. Yeah, strong and flexible. Good. So let's see how Amory goes right down. Just up to here now. And back down. Good. You make her work hard in the last set. Good. Control it. Slow it down a bit. Good. We've got the four more. Slow it. Four. Last three. Good. Nice and slow. Hips forward. Two more. Good. One more. You can do it. Rest. Good. Brilliant, guys. So reverse Nordics, yeah? You don't need a leg extension if you haven't got one at home. You can, um, you can do these. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I did tri sets the other day, and um, it was my last workout before the gym closed. And it was um, inertia squats into those and into leg extensions. And the next day, every single part of my quads was just screaming. Okay. So my legs are shot. Legs are shot. Yeah. So great. Yeah. So today's workout was more low body dominant. We did a bit of legs yesterday um, in the video we filmed with Bex. But yeah, this one is more definitely more legs, and not so much for body. We're just impressive from the. Um, the rose. Okay, so guys, it's time to submit the Bollywood now. We always, give, we always give our members a little bit of a happy ending, so to speak. So we got our Heisman kicks so with over 20. So you lift here, this is going to work the triceps, you lift yourself off the floor. Yeah, and we're going to simply do switch kicks. Okay, so Heisman kicks. If you want to march them out slowly, you can, but ideally, we're going to be nice and dynamic. Okay, so 20 reps, 10 each leg. Then we're going to go into hollow rocks. 
So the hollow rock progressions are knees tucked in tight, okay, makes it easier. Yes, you're gonna roll on your back and up, okay, so make it sound like a little ball. If you want to work harder, have one leg straight, okay. Next version is two legs straight, okay, the most advanced version, hands over the head, okay, point the toes, like that. So the, the, the longer you make your body, the harder it is. And then every minute on the minute, we do three burpees with a tuck jump. So burpee, hit the floor, jump up and explode up, okay? So it's all body weight, guys, no kit needed. Amory's gonna stand here. I'll start my stopwatch and we'll see if we can get into the yellow or even red zone. Okay guys, so five minute AMRAP, Heisman kicks the start. Yep, three, two, one, and off we go, 20, good. 20 reps there guys, this is your time now to push. Yeah, empty the tank. All right, these are quite hard after the, the abdominal work as well, because those abs are gonna be working with the Heisman kicks. Okay, so the hollow rocks, just drop, yeah, make yourself however you wanna do it. That's it, 10, nine, perfect, good, that's it. Amory's with the most advanced version, which is great. Don't feel like you need to, you can make yourself into a little ball if you want to. Yeah, if you're struggling with these, you can do bicycle crunches instead. Just do 10 bicycle crunches each side. Okay, good, she's back in the Heisman kicks. That's 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna do the burpees every minute on the minute. Not like we did yesterday with Bex, so we forgot about that, and we just did them at the end of every round. Good, so keep going, we've got 20 seconds until our burpees. Good, let's do our hollow rocks. Good, let's finish your 10 off, we've got 15 seconds. 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, three burpees with a massive tuck jump. Watch your head in the ceiling, Amory. <laughs> She's a powerhouse as well. Here we go. Look, she's jumping off the camera. <laughs> Two more. Good. Last one. Good, amazing. Okay, back to Heisman kicks. Good, guys. We're one minute and 15 seconds in to our five minute AMRAP. Five minutes doesn't sound long when you're sat on the sofa with a cup of tea, but you're working at this intensity, guys. Five minutes is quite a long time. Okay, so don't feel frustrated if you're getting tired and you do need to take a rest. Okay, 30 seconds until our next set of boobies. Good, lots of core work, guys, in this phase. And I say, when we went into the lockdown, I thought, right, how can we, you know, utilize the time to make our members better? And one thing we don't probably do enough of in the gym um, is, is direct core work. And with the access to the Swiss balls and the bands, there's loads of core exercises uh, in this. Okay, that's it, you got, that's it, go, you got 10 seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Remember where you are, into your burpees, and then carry on, resume where you left off. Good, we're two minutes in, guys, three minutes to go. Well done. Amory's on 85%, guys, yeah? 85%. Just see a nice big yellow block now. On it, my zone 86%. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get in the red zone. This is where we should really be pushing and looking at the my zone heart rate monitor to get us into that zone where we're really improving our endurance. Good, we've got 30 seconds to our boobies. We're halfway there, guys, two and a half minutes in. Amory's on 89%. Good. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see it on the camera? Can I see it? Yeah, you can see it just there, good, okay. 88%, you're doing well, good. So the heart is dropping a little bit on the, um, yeah, you gotta keep going, 10 seconds. Good, so the heart is flying up, guys, with the Heisman kicks and the burpees. He's dropping a little bit on the hollow rocks. Three, two, one, burpees, good. That's it. Doing great. Good, you've got one minute and 50 seconds to go, guys. So now he's going to bring a tuck jump knees right into the chest. Good, carry on with left off. Good, well done, almost there. A minute and 45. So the effort is there, guys, yeah, that's it. Nice and dynamic, try not to walk it out. It's only 20, try and run like Amory is. Good, keep going, 30 seconds. Good, hollow rocks now. We've hit 90%, guys. We're in the red zone for the first time in this workout, which is great. Good, so the red zone we should be just about hitting in towards the end of the phase, or at the end of this workout. Good, we've got one minute and 15 seconds. One more set of burpees to go in 10 seconds time. Good, go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. Burpees, let's go, that's it. Good, heart rate on 86%. Doing well. 
87, two more, push, push, push now, good. Okay, last 50 seconds, no more burpees, guys. Yeah, no more burpees, got 45 seconds of work. And we're, we're done, Amory's back in the red zone, which is brilliant. Good job. Okay, 30 seconds left. Abdominal work is hard when you're doing cardio, because you're bracing and it makes it hard to breathe. So those hollow rocks are not making life easy for Amory. Okay, 25 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds to go, guys. Good, last 20. Almost done. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, 10 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Good, finished. Okay, guys, so that's the fight now. I'm not done. Amory got the red zone on, on two little blocks, which is great. All right, and that's brilliant because the hollow rocks, like we said, are a really good um, core exercise teaching you to, to break. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. We had our, um, our hack squats, drop sets uh, on the A-series. We took our time, we did a bit of stretching in between, we made sure the quality was high. We did great. So the next time you repeat this workout, if you manage to do the 10, 8, 6 for all four sets, make sure you put your weights in the app. Remember the red is um, three kilograms, the purple is six, the green is nine, and the blue is 12. Put the weights in that you use for the first set of 10 on each one. Next time you do this workout, go heavier. Our B series, we do our incline push-ups. But remember, if you're struggling with, the, with press ups, you need a bit of assistance. Try not to drop to your knees. Try and find some way of doing band assisted on your toes to get your body used to utilizing your own body weight. And we did a bent over rows, okay, which were, which were great, really firing those lats up. C series was the abdominals with the, the leg raises and the reverse Nordics. Uh, if you're struggling with reverse Nordics, then don't be afraid to substitute for split squats. You probably find them hard because you're too tight and stiff. All right, and then we finished off with a good C series, which we just did. So make sure you put your mind on belt on, guys, for the, for the, the, the end of the workout, that, that D series, the kicks, the hollow rocks, and the burpees. And like Amory did, try and get yourself into the red zone towards the end of the workout. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, um, let us know. Speak to myself or any of the coaches at SOS, and uh, we'll see you um, next time. Thanks, Amory. Bye, guys.